Hey, good morning. It's uh, the steaming bean here. I uh, it's been a good day. I went to the uh, uh, I worked today all day at a school, and afterwards I went for a walk. Uh, did a walk in a cemetery, which is right right um, not across the street, but like a two minute drive from the school. So it's basically right in the neighborhood. And that was a bit of an interesting walk, and I, I vlogged about it. It was interesting, and and it's um, yeah, I'll, I, I'm going to continue um, vlogging my my walks, and hopefully, you know, like like it would be great to you know to to see how I make progress um, in my walks. So, anyways, I. Uh, <laughs> I showed you my water bottle before, and this these are the ones, um, I guess in the States you have these REI stores, I'm not sure how you say it, but anyways, um, in Canada we have Mountain Equipment Co-op and, and, and other camping shops, and, and these, these halogen bottles, like they're very durable and they're very, uh, you know, <sighs> cool looking I guess, because they have different shades, wow. But anyways, um, they cost me, this one probably cost between the area of $13 to $15. And hey, um, it's durable, and, and I, I, that's what I want. However, I am jumping from school to school. Some days, I'm at two different schools. So in one week, if I work every day, uh, I could be technically at 10 different schools. Now, usually in a week, I'll average about three to six different schools and that's that's busy enough and and uh, if any of you have ever worked in a school you know that uh, <laughs> um, staff they always leave behind like vis like um, visitors like substitute teachers and whatnot and assistants um, they often leave things behind by accident uh, they'll forget to bring their Tupperware home or their Ziploc um, containers. So each school has a whole collection of them. And uh, the school was at today. I went back, and last time I was there was about over two weeks ago. Maybe was yeah about two weeks ago. And I forgot this bottle there. <laughs> so it's like I didn't even drink the water. So this water is about a couple weeks old. I'm going to drain it. I'm not going to drink from it, but. But hey, talking about water, if you're in Saskatoon, Saskatoon has some awesome water. So anyways, I left this at the school and I was so frustrated because, you know, it's, it's, it's a 14 whatever dollar bottle and 15 bucks whatever. And it's just frustrating that, you know, you, you work hard for your money. You're not making a lot of money, but hey, you don't want to lose things. So I, I, after I worked at that school, I realized that I probably left the bottle at the school. Um, you might think it's silly, I don't, but I emailed the teacher mentioning that, hey, um, I, there's a good chance I may have left the bottle behind. Could you uh, look in your, you know, if you come across in your room or in the staff room, please uh, reply. And I never got a reply. You know, it's, it's too bad because, you know, it's, it's. I don't know, it's not petty, it's, 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 a, it's an expensive water bottle. So I've learned my lesson. I'm trying to grab a full-time contract next year. And next year, hey, I'll bring those bottles to my school because I'm there all the time. But meanwhile, I went grocery shopping this evening. And I bought this. And this is what I'll bring to the schools. And I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll drink this. And maybe when I go to school, I'll fill it a third way or halfway or whatever. And, and um... Yeah, that'll, that'll be mine in the classroom. It's very important to keep, if you're especially big guys like me, I gotta keep um, hydrated. Uh, people who are, like, I'm six foot four, and I'm almost, I'm almost, like I say, I'm a biscuit away from 400. So it's important to remember to drink. And <laughs> there's, my sister told me, my sister who's a teacher back in Ottawa, told me that on her phone, she has an app that goes off and reminds her that it's time to drink your water. And I thought that was pretty cool. I downloaded the app on my uh, Samsung phone 
And sure enough, it has like like a little water <laughs> water sound, like a glugging sound or you know water bubbling sound. And I thought that was pretty cool. And I like that little reminder because you could be in a classroom a whole morning without getting a real chance of getting some water. Hey, um, speaking of grocery shopping, uh, it has been a while since I bought some um, oil. Um, I'm I, I, it was routine for me to cook with coconut oil, and I've gone back to it. I love this stuff. Uh, it's it's healthy for you. A little bit, I put a tiny bit on in the frying pan, and it cooks the eggs really good. And um, it, yeah, you only need a little bit, and it goes a long way, and it, and it's and it's healthy for you. I'm trying to not fry so much these days, but. I do like my eggs, and I'm going, and I am going to f figure out how to have eggs different than you know on on a stovetop or, or you know frying them. So um, coconut oil, um, they say it's good for your hair. I didn't buy it for my hair; I bought it for cooking. And for my um, shakes, my my shakes in the morning, maybe shakes twice a day. Someone mentioned that they did shakes twice a day, had a meal, and lost a lot of weight. And they did this for two years, and um, on the, and on the weekends they let themselves have a normal weekend and and eat sensibly. Uh, I'm sure you know. I'm, I'm assuming they didn't pig out. So I bought some. It's expensive, but when I was back in Ottawa, uh, I, I stayed with uh, family, and they were they have these you know uh, cool blenders. I have I have a Ninja, which is really good quality, but they have a blender that's. Was it a Vega mix or a Veta mix or something like that? It cost several hundred dollars. Anyway, that's. I thought that was a bit much. But, anyways, what they did was when they did their um, protein shakes, they put a little bit of coconut oil. This cost me six bucks. Oh, man, I miss Singapore. I used to live in Singapore 10 years ago. And, and they used to have stalls where you just buy coconut, they'd cut it half through the machete, and you have coconut water. And it was less like a dollar Singapore, which is 60, maybe 40 cents, whatever, American or, you know, or Canadian. So anyways, I'm going to start using this. Hey, um, during this vlog, you may hear some sounds. It's like, there's right behind the camera, I'm simmering some meat. I'm, I'm in my kitchen, so I'm simmering some meat that I'm going to put in my chili pot. And, and this way... On this side is my fridge, so often, I'm not sure if the fridge, I don't think the fridge made noise, but in case if you're wondering what some of the noise is, because um, I'm vlogging from my my kitchen, I'm, <laughs> I don't have a proper, it's too dark in my living room, I should buy, I should buy, a, I'm going to buy a lamp, I'm going to buy a lamp to sh that throw some light onto it, because I, I didn't want to vlog with, um, <laughs> with poor lighting. Uh, who wants to watch that? But, you know, it's, um, hey, I really appreciate you guys, um, r you know, replying to my to my vlogs. Uh, it's really cool. It's very touching that people are watching me. Um, please, um, yeah, yeah, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some criticism, constructive criticism. If you like it, that's great. Tell me why you like it. And uh, thanks for those people who are... Um, you know, give me supporting comments. I really appreciate that. Oh goodness, I got some, I got some weird comments. I, I I guess I was I was commenting on um, oh I'll, nomadic fanatic and I, <laughs> I got some oh man, there's some nutballs. I should say nutballs, but there's some <laughs> some odd folk out in uh, YouTube land. It's man, you know. <laughs> You know who they are. You've probably seen them before, but oh man, some of them could be nasty. <laughs> They're probably what, 14, 15 years old. Hey, when I was 14, 15, or 12, whatever, uh, I'm sure you guys uh, you remember prank phone calls back in the day and, and trying to get away with things like that or <laughs> ringing people's doorbells and hiding. I did that a couple times when I was like in grade 5 or whatever. It was. Ah, silly fun. Anyways, hey, thanks for, um, please, uh, keep in touch. Let me know what you think. Hey, great hearing from you, and have a super day.
TCB.